So you're wondering what comes first, money or passion? Can they blend together? Are they completely uh, apart from each other? Well, common knowledge says, you know, your passion should be your hobby. Just kind of, you know, do whatever it is you like in your spare time, but your job is your job. You know, your job is whatever it is you're supposed to do. Um, you can learn to enjoy your job, but your job is, again, it's just a job, it's just a means to make money. So, if you're able to kind of surrender yourself to this type of uh, autistic social thinking, um, I can guarantee that you're not happy, but at least you'll be content. But if you're kind of like me, you can't really accept that uh, idea uh, that 30-40% of your life will be spent doing something that you don't love. So, I went on a journey and asked myself, how do you take something you love and make money off of it? Or how do you uh, make money in a way where you, you can just have your life, have your shit handle, and then you can just do what you love? Well, the secret I found is that when you base your business around something you love, you actually have an unfair advantage. And the reason for that is that things that you love are not dependent on gaining or losing things. If you build your business around getting money, for example, then today you don't have money, so you have a lot of motivation, but tomorrow you made more money, so tomorrow you don't have the motivation anymore. And it all comes back to the ego's desire to just feel whole, to feel like everything's okay. So it doesn't even matter necessarily if you got money or not, sometimes just a pat on the back or your brain saying, you know what, you did a good job, would be enough to demotivate you to push further. On the other hand, when you take something that you really, really love, something that you're passionate about, you just always want to do it. Because that's the thing about things you love, you just do them because you just want to do them. So you don't think about the consequences, you just do them to do them. And the other unfair advantage is that things that you love, most likely you've been doing them for a while. So we all have these hidden gems, hidden talents in us. And you always want to ask yourself, where am I always getting um, pulled towards? What's my calling? What's the thing that I always find myself doing? Whether I have money or not, or I'm happy or I'm sad, what's the thing that I just keep gravitating towards without even noticing? And in that place, you're going to find your strength. And the reason for that is again, because motivation is not going up and down, it's constant as long as you love doing that thing, you're just gonna keep doing it as much as possible. And the other reason is that you've been doing it for so long, you already start with an advantage, you don't have to build new skills, you can just leverage your current skill. So, the question of passion versus money, which one comes first, um, it's really a simple question. If you value money more than your passion, um, in my opinion, your chances of getting money are much lower because your motivation will go up and down and you're going to be doing something that you are not fully there. It's not, it doesn't come from the depth of who you are. Um, on the other hand, doing something from passion can yield a lot of money because you do it to do it to do it and you don't really care about the results, you just want to do it as much as possible and as intense as possible and it's just something you're naturally inclined to. So your mind will definitely shift from um, year to year where this year might be a good year, next year might be a bad year, but your passions, uh, they kind of stick with you. Um, so life isn't really about changing passions, it's really about finding your passion and just finding a way to make um, a living off of it where your, life, uh, your life's uh, definition of success changes from I want to make as much money as possible to I want to do what I love, enjoy every moment and live a life that supports that. When your, um, when your goals change, they will change from a place of fulfillment so you already have everything you need 
your life is perfect, you're enjoying everything, but now let's say you have a new desire, it comes from a very clean place where you just want to do more to get more versus the, the, the ugly wanting that you find so much in society. So on the question of passion versus uh, money or passion versus a job, I would say always go with the passion. It takes more guts, uh, but will always give you better results. The only exception I could say is as a middle step, let's say that you can't follow your passion without feeling, first of all, that you have financial security. Well, I would go deep into that and try to get financial security as fast as possible, either during a job or whatever. But use that financial security route just as a means to adapt to your job, to, to your passion, and to have a chance to create a life that revolves around your passions. Uh, really, that's really what everybody wants. But the thing is, our passions are where our fears lie. And that's why we're so scared of entering there. You know, what if I'm not good enough? What if I don't do it well? What if I hate it? Um, even sometimes just beliefs about us being supposed to be better than that or supposed to do something more efficient than that. Well, again, to summarize, I believe passions are the fastest, most direct way and most fun way to achieve wealth. So you're killing two birds with one stone. So whenever you have a debate, in yourself, whether to follow a passion or follow money, always ask yourself, um, do I need the financial security to do what I love? If not, just go for what you're passionate about. And if you do find yourself needing that financial support first, then just do it as a means to an end. But always go back to your passions because uh, you're going to do them anyway. So why not make money and leverage them? Till next time.